Tekken 8 closes out Combo Breaker, and man, it was the most entertaining, at, at least in my opinion. I had been watching already the Evil Japan Gauntlet and Combo Breaker, and Combo Breaker was my personal favorite one. The Gauntlet was really cool too, but it just Combo Breaker was amazing. Tekken 8 closing it out as the major grand final to really help out on an entertaining notion. And this already helps Tekken create history now because <laughs> let me tell you this, in Tekken in a spectator standpoint right now, Tekken 8 at least, the aggro gameplay, the aggressive gameplay that possibly <laughs> I'm sure legacy players are still like really 50-50 about, no pun intended, um, are not enjoying it possibly as much as a spectator is right now. Now, in terms of professional notions, sponsors, entertaining and just overall transitional standpoints timing everything Tekken 8 what they're doing right now with this type of gameplay is way more exciting from a spectator standpoint i was literally enjoying so many matches yesterday they go by fast but not extremely fast to where it's a waste of your money if you actually go to the events and it's fast enough to where it's respectable to where you're not just wasting all day and night uh you know just streaming these or watching them on standby so it is, I feel, the perfect blend of timing to where you're not wasting it, but to where it's not too fast. Watching this has, it, it is crazy. It reminds me of how Mortal Kombat X was with all the 50-50s, all the mix-ups, just everything. What Tekken used to be, at least prior, obviously timing was slower, more counter-defensive. Now, I, for one, this is my first Tekken game that I've ever played, but I've always seen Tekken around. Uh, I just never really appreciated the og tekken as much because i i don't know why i, I really like the aggressive gameplay uh, that could just be me as being the casual that i am i always loved the mortal kombat i always loved street fighter and tons of other games you know like marvel's capcom 3 all that and so tekken now for me in my opinion at least like tekken used to look more like a boxing match now tekken 8 is kind of like a featherweight mma <laughs> match where everybody's just flying at each other these games and i really like it again i feel the vfx stage music announcers um i feel that in all of those notions including the devs were all enjoying it much more and they knew they had a banger of a game is it perfect no but watching this game was by far the most exciting. I was watching some of the Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter 6 is arguably on par for sure. Because Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 are so great this time around. Uh, their, their ideas of what they've done, both of them, are vastly a success versus what Mortal Kombat is trying to do with kind of nerfing down the game and putting cameos to force you to be like a certain player you know what i mean depending on what you utilize now it's not an ultimate fail for mk1 but i feel that it was just it wasn't as entertaining to watch especially some of the mix-ups and stuff versus what tekken 8 was doing and versus what street fighter 6 is doing tekken 8 now making history in my opinion giving the devs even more ideas moving forward that i'm pretty sure right now like it could be a hot take but i'm pretty sure they announced that Lydia trailer. I'm pretty sure they're really going to really look into her. Devs are going to go right back in and, and restructure a lot more stuff and make her even more aggressive than what she probably is already right now. Just due to how much they enjoyed at the highest level. The highest level of Tekken it, it, with this aggressive gameplay is so good for people that really want to make a living off of gaming whether it's the competitive side or even the content creation side um and i could speak for that on myself i'm more of the content creator who uh, does fighting game content on multiple channels and streams it and then there's also the pro levels that were really competing yesterday and it works well for both of us because it helps a lot of people outside of the fighting game community at least spectate because I know there's things that the FGC does not want, right? They don't want to water down these games to where the ultimate mainstream <laughs> casual can just pick up and start mashing, which it's it looks like it's kind of getting there, but you still need the fundamentals and core foundations of Tekken to win today. And so although you have characters like Victor who we can you know press two 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 and, and Eddie, we can press three 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 three. Uh, these characters, overly aggressive new characters like Asusena and Reina, it, it still has some correlation to knowing like and, and having knowledge checks, right? It is just vastly more aggressive. And I know FGC does not want 
actual mainstream people to get like go super brain dead to where it's completely easy where it loses all of its like uh, legacy of what it's built right you know their legacy players on here but what i do love is that a lot everybody's just stronger and insane right now and from again from when you're watching these <laughs> it was insane to watch yesterday Every matchup was so stacked and so fun to watch at the highest level, especially now since high level players are really grasping on to what is a lot of the pro players were second guessing themselves at some point. And now because I, I used to see it all over Twitter, like some of them were like, ah, I like it. Ah, I don't know if I really can get with it. I'm trying to adjust. I'm trying. And it looks like they are adapting really well, hence why they are pros. Um and they did a very great job at being the final game showcased, at least in my opinion, when it comes down. Because I like to look at both essences in terms of me being like a businessman and a creator. And then also look at it for a professional standing point that's rugged, that's really in the FGC. And I like to look at it both ways. And I, for both ways, it's a win. Now, it may not feel as fun sometimes while you're playing at the levels even on ranked when you're playing like blue ranks onward you're playing at the highest level over here in these tournaments it may not feel as fun sometimes you hate the aggression but when you start to adapt as these high level players are showing us the pros um it looks very very fun from a spectating point it goes by faster it's just there's something about it that really clicks with the audience it looked like the audience was super engaged that creates more of a story arc the comebacks are insane and just everything when your backs are against the wall literally on wall combos and just figuratively when your backs against the wall when you're down like 2-1 and it's it's already two one in a set uh set point set match and then you're then you're getting back you're getting all these rounds coming back in it's just insane to watch and overall i gotta give it to them tekken did such a great job at being that final game uh in combo breaker last night well last night it ended and i couldn't be more happier to be a fan of this game and to finally start playing tekken this installment um i know that again it is not bred on what tekken 7 was but man this game looks exciting when you watch it as a spectator and i know a lot of the spectators can speak for it also so so kudos to all the pro players that have been crushing it and adapting i know this is like a different game for them so it has been cool to see how much freaking history they are making just right now this alone can really and the last thing i want to touch base on how it also makes history in terms of people wanting to try to play the game it's inspiring to watch and it makes you want to go learn the game also bring in completely new players they did a great job right like say if somebody's part of the fgc that actually attended combo breaker in person usually they have a plus one or a plus two or something of just random friends you know that just come along especially because people don't really like going by themselves sometimes i don't mind but if you had a plus one who doesn't really know about fighting games, but is watching it and it's like, oh shit, like this is super cool. Or even if they're just a gamer in, in totality, like they play a lot more FPS maybe, and they saw this, they for sure are at least thinking about playing the game now. That's how good it was. The announcers were on point, the delivery, the setup, the showcase of it, the stream was really good. Everything around it was pretty good, except for the argument of we don't know if the pro players actually still enjoy this aggression type gameplay, but the devs are all in for it. It looked like a massive show. When it comes down to money at the end of the day, a lot of these corporations want to make their business flow, their money. It was an absolute win from a business standpoint, creation standpoint, content, a hype standpoint, a marketing standpoint, and a spectating standpoint, which it, people are trying to get more eyes on these games. Not necessarily always have to play these games at this level, but definitely get more eyes on it. And Tekken by far is making history doing that. It was so cool, so exciting, so inspiring. And it, it just makes you want to get in there and get in some action, man. But yeah, y'all let me know what's up. Have y'all been checking out these latest tournaments? And this is speaking on the Evil Japan Essence. I feel like it's gradually increased each time uh, through the come around with the pros. The pros are catching on, catching on, learning, maybe watching film, replays, and everything from Evo Japan to Gauntlet, now to Combo Breaker. And I'm sure that there's going to be a couple more. And then it's going to get to that Evo, uh, the North, uh, the Vegas Evo. And I bet you that's going to be insane because they're going to learn so much at that point. But yeah, very cool to watch. Very cool to implement into your rotation of games if you have not played fighting games, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all drop y'all's thoughts, man. Peace.